Project Explorer is an extremely useful utility that allows you to link virtually any type of document to a project and to access that information very easily. A typical project involves not only design files, but other data such as word processor files, spreadsheets, PDF files, websites, email addresses, etc., etc. All such data can be linked to a project, along with internal design links such as design files, elements, models, references, saved views, etc., created in any file format. Clicking on a link will open the link target, such as a design file, model, or save view, etc. Link sets are used to organize your data, and these can be located in a design file for smaller projects or in a design lib file for wider access. Link sets contain individual links to the project data. Project Explorer is a facility that manages these link sets. We're going to start working with Project Explorer, but before we do, I'd like you to download some information. In your Working Files folder, you'll see a folder called P73. These are the project files for this particular project. I've placed my folder in my level two root folder for easy access. The files in the P73 project are those that you might find for a small construction project, but the files that you download contain no data. They are there simply to establish the procedures for the Project Explorer facility. You can, however, use a project or files of your own for the procedures which follow. Now, ideally, for a larger project where many people will be accessing the links, it's usually best to locate the Project Explorer files in a design lib for access by all project members. If you create a Project Explorer file in a standard design file, you can only access the project links in that file. We're going to create our own link sets in a new design lib file. Now, again, I will refer to the files in the P73 folder, but you can alternatively use your own files of similar type. So let's start by creating a new design lib file. I'm going to call it P73 project. And as you can see, I am in my design lib file at the moment. So it's simply a matter of using save as to create the new design lib. So we'll go to file and save as. And I'm in my level two basic folder. Here's the name of the file. I'm going to call this one P73 project. And of course, the design lib extension remains. Do a save on that. And now I'm working in my P73 project design lib. Now let's open Project Explorer. Go to File and Project Explorer. We see a dialog box open and we see certain items here. For the moment, ignore the links tab because there are no links which relate to our project yet. But if you click on the File tab, you'll see information about our open file, which is the design lib, and it lists various items which would normally be in a design file. You will see certain amounts of information here which have been brought from the original design lib file, but in general you won't see much at all, and quite a few of these will be quite blank. There will however be levels and models since every design file has those items. We're not particularly interested in this, since this is just the contents of this particular file. We need to create link sets. However, you could use this information to open specific items within this design file. So the next step is to create a specific project link set for the P73 project. So click on the Links tab, and this time select the Manage Link Sets icon. The Link Sets dialog box opens, and we can now add our project. First, we need to change the location of the project, and the default is to look at the configured libraries. Now, we have no configured libraries yet in the MS Design Lib List configuration file, but we will later. In the meantime, drop the arrow down and click on our actual active file, which is our P73 project design lib. Now we can add a link set. So click on the new link set icon and we'll enter the name, which will be P73 link set. We don't need to use a seed file, which links us back to MicroStation's default seed files. So leave that option blank, say OK. And we see our link set in place. We can now dismiss that box. And our link set is already in place in the Project Explorer box. 
And if we drop this arrow down too, we only see the P73 link set, since that's the only one that's been created so far. If there were other link sets, these two would be available for us. Back to the link set. Now with our link set in place, we can start to add links to the set, and I'll do this in the next video.